Matrix India investment philosophy is actually pretty easy. Uh, for those of you who have been to our office, you will see our Wi-Fi password, founders first. I would say it's founders first and founders last. Uh, what does that really mean? If you ask most investors, they will say that they invest behind a team. So do we. Uh, but they also invest behind a market and they also invest behind a business and they invest also invest behind a deal construct. And I guess in our philosophy, for us, it, we may, even if we don't like any of those other three things, but we like a founder enough, uh, we'll probably still make the, make the leap of faith. Now, if one could choose to invest in an entrepreneur that, I, that we think will make us a lot of money, um, I would love to say that we predicted the boom, but let me give a little bit more uh, context to this. Having been an entrepreneur, having started Bazi, uh, it was clear to me when, when we started Matrix in 2006 that the market was still not fully there. And some of our best investments came from that period uh, outside of the ones I've already spoken about. So Ola, Practo, Lime Road, M-Swipe, all of these are Tribo, somewhere in, in, that, uh, in that vintage. So I would say that uh, tracking the market evolution did help us in, in, in some ways calling the, the turn correctly. Currently in the last, call it 12 to 14 months, uh, SaaS, Enterprise, B2B, FinTech a lot more lately. So, so the question that uh, about big investments in recent times is only about money out rather than about the size of the, of the investment. So, uh, you know, in, in venture, it is probably three or four years after an investment is made that it actually starts showing uh, results. I think all companies should, should aspire to create a lot of value. But value, valuation devoid of value is a problem. So that, when, that particular exit option has not been there for Indian companies. There are maybe three. So even if you go public, you'll have no investors. So therefore, you have to go public on the NASDAQ. One of the leading indicators that we have observed of successful companies and founders is that they deliver to their commitments. The value we add to a startup is best. Remember, we are we are founders first, uh, and we are lucky to be in business with founders where we are we are able to do that. I think we partner very well. I, one of our philosophies is to be pull partnership rather than push partnership. If you are investing behind rock star founders, if you are investing behind uh, great people, I don't think they want to be told what to do. So whether it's recruiting, whether it's strategy, uh, whether it is business development, fundraising, we try to be as helpful as possible. But the underlying philosophy is the founder is the, is the, is the person who's putting, we have a portfolio, the founder does not. The founder has a single company portfolio. 